You guys are doing great. Good to see you guys here today. So manifest anything you want or you desire. Beginner's guide here. So this is the beginner's guide to show you how to do this stuff to manifest anything you want. Okay. How's everybody doing? Hopefully everybody's doing great. Good to see you guys here on in the chat. All right. So the first step in manifesting or creating whatever it is you want. How are we doing today? Good to see you guys here. Good to see everybody here today. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So look. Okay. There's this thing that we do. We're constantly giving off information to the universe. Now, for many of you guys, you have valuable information. You know things a lot of people do not know. For example, you know that the mind is mental. You know that the universe is a mind. It's a mental construct and it portrays us to us as physical reality. A lot of people don't know that. And because you know that, you have an advantage than the pop more than the population of the entire world. The advantage you have is that you know how to tap to deliberately manifest. And many of you, many of you have been doing it. You, you've been manifesting and creating your desired life, your dream life. You're doing it right now as we speak. And so what I want to do today, I just want to piggyback on that and just give you some more uh, knowledge and information so that you can have it more structured and it can, be, it can become a part of your repetition of your natural course in, in life. So the, the big thing is this huge, this huge advantage that you, we all have, you all have, is to create the life that you want. Hello, hello, my friends. Hello, hello from Trinidad. Hello, happy Sunday. Wonderful Sunday for you guys. Wonderful Sunday for all of us. Happy Sunday. Okay, so let's dive into it. So we have to know the basic stuff. So let's talk about the basic stuff for beginners, you know, beginners thing, right? Hi from Taiwan, my new subscriber. Awesome. Grand rising, everyone. Hello from New Zealand. So let's, let's get into the basics so you can know what to do. So we hear about the vibration and we hear about frequency. So what are vibrations and frequency? So very easily, look at it like this. The frequency is the destination, the vibration is the car that's driving to the destination. So if you want to go to the mall, to your favorite shop, to your favorite restaurant that has everything you want in there, that's called the frequency. To take you to the, to the mall, you have to have a vehicle, the car, that's called your vibration. So based on your vibration, it will take you to a certain frequency. So you want to be on a frequency. And the, the tool to get you to the frequency is the vibration. So what is the vibration? What makes the vibration go? The vibration goes by your thoughts, by your feelings, by your expectation, and by your beliefs. Those things will put you on a frequency. Now, in the multiverse, there exists different frequencies, different destinations of where you want to go. There exists infinite destinations. So there's a destination of success, there's a destination of happiness, there's a destination of wealth, there's a destination of every possible experience. It, there is a, a, a world, a reality with that thing existing in there. So what do you do? You want to get to the wealth uh, destination? You got to learn to tune the vibration to get to the wealth. So I'm going to show you now how to tune your vibration to get to the wealth. To get anything you want to get more of you want more money more success more positivity more of anything in your life it's all about the vibration and you want to get into a sp specific state of vibration so okay all of you have gifts and abilities so if you know the stuff you're good at right so for example let's say you're good at writing you're good at piano you're good at music whatever you're good at we all have this talent so if you if you're going to play your instrument like you're good at playing the piano whenever you walk into a room to play the piano you command what 
confidence and you command a state of like it's a normal thing this is this is a demand i demand this thing it, it is my go-to thing you don't feel like nervous you don't feel down because it's what you're good at so whatever you're good at more of it will come to you so to get to the frequency the destination of where you want to you have to have a confident like a demand uh you gotta it's it's like the best way to put it it's like you have to let the universe know that this is you for you and you deserve this and it must come into your reality because you are the one that's creating and you demand this you gotta in the in the multiverse of the universe you have to demand your manifestations to come into existence okay when you demand the universe to come into existence when you demand the stuff you want to come into existence they must appear in your physical reality as stuff situation events money and all that stuff so we'll cover that again so that's the vibration see how that works all right since i've started seeing a uh, third party hello from south africa hey mark how can i see the angel numbers when i manifested i'm constantly happy believe uh, fat, or can i see the angel numbers okay so the next i'm glad you asked that question so we're gonna cover the next part of this stuff the next important part guys is that whenever you are bringing something in from the invisible to the visible world the universe will help you to get it by giving you signs you do not need to go out and look for any sign signs will come looking for you your job is to stay in faith on the vibration of whatever it is that you want that's the next step the next stuff about manifesting anything you want the beginners guide is you have to let your higher mind work with you and for you instead of against you that's right you have to use your creative mind you have to learn to use the ego for what it is designed to do once ever once you've learned that you have different minds that do different roles then you can act accordingly to each mind and it, it is as follows in the regular mind you're only using it for conjuring up the desire of whatever it is that you want number one number two you're using it for the vision the imagination writing it down you're using it for processing and being aware of what's going on in your 3d world that's all you use that mind for now in your higher mind you now what you do is that mind now you use that mind to impress from the conscious mind whatever it is that you want and you impress something into this higher mind through mainly your feelings a state of being a state of being is what brings the invisible to the visible so there actually is a perfect state of being a universal state of being that will bring you whatever you want all the time 100% of the time and uh, you guys hear me talk about it all the time so let me go ahead and I'll put it in the and you guys can comment for me what is the state of being that Mark constantly preaches or Mark constantly talks about that he wants everyone to get because if they get this state of being they will manifest and attract all their desires easily and effortlessly that is correct some we got it here it says this here this is raw set it is the flow state okay now can you describe to me what is the flow state what feeling makes the flow state this is very crucial what is the feeling that will make a flow state and we have some answers here and the one that pops out to me we have good we have gratitude we have a feeling good but the one that really pops out to me 
is from rain and that is correct rain your ultimate guide state that you want to be in to get anything you want is the state of being normality when something is normal to you you will get more success let me give an example when I talk about like say you're good at playing piano it's normal to you it's not normal to a lot of people a lot of people can't play the piano but you are the one that can play the piano a lot of people can't sing like you a lot of people can't give jokes like you whatever you all have these gifts you know what you're good at so whatever you're good at becomes normal and when it comes normal you're on a frequency that will bring more of that to you that's how the subconscious works and that's how it is so you have to make the things that you want even though you not you can't experience them right now see that's what your regular mind is going to tell you let me go back to the regular mind because i have to say something important very crucial that you must become aware of about the regular mind guys notice and i said this i brought i think i've talked i talked this last week in, the, in my life yes calmness is a crucial part to but here is where we all trip up right a lot of us trip up we trip upon this stuff but let me ask you this question in our regular mind what is the most destructive habit we have when it comes to figuring out what we want what does our mind tend to do once we decide we want something and we decide to visualize can someone comment what does our mind do but we think that's normal but it is not normal can anyone tell me that what is the, what is the thing that our regular mind tends to do doubt that is correct that's a good one too that your regular mind tends to doubt you definitely don't want to have doubt because doubt will create a lot of resistance towards your dreams and desires what else what else do, what does the regular mind do that we think is okay but it is very detrimental to our success okay let me see what's standing out and this is from ob nuoso the regular mind will always 100 percent always try to figure out how to get you what you want that is correct it is the most destructive thing that you must not listen to no matter how good it seems no matter how logical it seems do not listen to your regular mind when it comes to your big dreams and goals however do listen to your regular mind when it comes to like work stuff processing daily reality you know the, the regular normal everyday things Matt, your big your your dreams aren't normal everyday things to your regular mind. Remember that, okay? So your regular mind will attempt to do something, but the problem is when your regular mind tries to tell you how to do something, it's always going to make you feel worse than you ever before because the thing that your regular mind is going to come to you and say is, "I've tried all the options out there, man, and I don't see any way we can get this. I think we need to settle a little bit." that's the next thing about manifesting guys do not settle whatever it is you truly want I'm here to tell you you're 100% guaranteed you can have it unless you do not settle if you settle you are creating doubt in your mind and you're programming your mind that you are you don't deserve what you want you are one step below whatever it is you want okay the reason you should never settle is because if you start to settle you're going to train your mind to give you less than what you're worth you're going to start to devalue your self-worth you're going to start to devalue who you truly are never settle when it comes to your dreams and your desires even if you don't know when or how that is perfectly fine this is where your creative and high higher mind comes into play your higher mind will know exactly how and when to bring whatever it is you want into your life you know i had an i had an email here through instagram direct message someone was saying to me mark for six months i've been doing all the stuff i've been doing the subliminals i've been listening to the stuff i've been praying but i'm not seeing anything 
Well, the reason is, guys, you have to understand something. You have to stop looking for whatever it is you want and start expecting it. When you start to look, you're saying that you you are the one that says it has to be here in two months, three months, four months. That is not up to you. You can't. It's not up to you when your manifestation comes in. It's up to the higher mind, which knows more than you do. Higher mind will always bring everything to you at the right place at the right time, 100% of the time. You do not need to worry. It's your logical mind. So when when I see comments or I see questions like that, I, I I'm going to tell you guys, you got to get out of your ego. It's your ego wanting this thing really bad. There's no need for you to want anything really bad because you already have everything at your will. That's the thing you got to understand. It is a it is a illusion of your regular mind. Once you get out of your ego, your own way, the path will be opened up to you a lot easier. Guys, I have to remind you this, and many of you, all of you know this. If you're in, if you're finding this channel and you you know spirituality, many of you know by now that time doesn't work the same with your higher mind than it does with our regular mind. We all know that. At least you should know that. So uh, here's a here's a tip about manifesting, guys, for beginners. Whenever you're going to start this journey, whenever you're going to work the mind and bring things into physical reality, you cannot look at time as a means to achieve it. You have to look at what's happening in the moment. You have to look what's happening and how you feeling in the moment. That will determine when something manifests, not according to your mind and says, well, I've been doing this for four months. I've been doing this for five months and I don't see any results. I've been doing this for one year and I don't see any results. Well, what you've been doing is you've been doing results. You're not going to see anything. You're just going to keep seeing, seeing, looking. You're not going to see the actual results. Because the results, if you were looking for the results, you wouldn't need to look. You would just expect. Results are normality. Results are the last step. The results are if, as if they're already done. Like, okay, this is manifested. I don't need to look for it. I just know it's going to come. Let me focus on other aspects of my life, of bettering myself, my health, my whatever it is. Let me just work on other avenues of myself. Then the results show. But many of us... We get stuck in the looking, the looking, and you're going to get more of the looking. Because remember now, let me show you something deep. What do you, what you say to yourself is an affirmation. It's a command to your higher mind. For example, when you say this, this is what you're doing. Hey, Mark, it's been four months, six months. I haven't seen any results. You're telling your mind, hey. I am looking, I'm needing, I need to see that this, this, I'm giving you the, the underground language to your mind. I need to see this because I desperately need this to manifest and because I don't have it right now, I feel lost, I feel doubt. So I need you to make this come real fast, to, to make my ego feel better and to show me it's working. So your, your conscious, subconscious mind doesn't have the ability to think like that. That's your ego saying. What it does though, what it sees, your subconscious mind sees, is the emotion of the language. And the emotion of that language is what? Desperation, lack, need. It's the opposite of whatever it is you want. Hence, that's what you will get more of. It's like a it's like this loop. Like it's like just teasing you enough, teasing you enough. Until you realize that, you it won't change. So what do I do to stop that? Here's what you do. Number one, you decide whatever it is you want to manifest, okay? All you have to do is you know that I put it out, I demand it's going to come in, and I forget about it. I let it go. I don't mean I literally forget about it. I mean it's not a big priority anymore. It's not in a state of need or desperation now. It is in a state of normality. Oh, I know I'm going to get that. I'm not worried about it. 
Let me see what else I can work on in the meantime. That is the perfect, and repeat that again. Oh, I'm gonna get that. I'm not even worried about it. Let me see what, what else I can work on in the meantime. What, what other part of my consciousness, what other part of my mind can I work on? You know what? You have to mold yourself. You, you have to invest in yourself. When you work on yourself, you will live a life of passion and abundance. When you work against yourself, you will live a life of inconsistency. When, when you dream about another person winning the lottery, it's a dream about you winning the lottery. People in your dreams are only representation of you because your unconscious only knows you. So if you dream of someone winning a lottery, it's you winning the lottery. Okay? Any dreams you have. So, how do I communicate a better communication link between self and higher self? That's the next thing. The communication link it should be more towards your higher self than your ego. You don't need any more communication link with your ego. So what you want to practice now, you want to practice higher level communication. <clears throat> higher level communication goes in the following. This is how you communicate to your higher self more. You do this with ask formations. Question formats you ask out loud consistently. <clears throat> you communicate with your higher self through meditation relaxing and letting things come in you communicate to your higher self with self-talk not ask formations ask formation is self-questioning asking questions is a powerful way. I'm talking about self-talk self-talk is as follows okay this is a self-talk I am always good at such and such I'm so confident that everything I desire I always get I'm optimistic I'm kind I'm compassionate I'm grateful I'm a positive person. I'm a deserving person. It's okay for me to make mistakes. Things are will always work out for me. That's a self-talk. Okay? And then there's a next level of self-talk. Hey, this is interesting. Show me how to be better at this. Reveal to me the best way to have that I would like you to bring more of this you know this is what I want or desire go ahead and figure out the most easiest and effortless way bring me more knowledge on this this has been this has been boggling my mind give me the answer to this that is a self-talk to your higher self. That's the, that's the communication channel. And the next communication channel is, why are things always working out in my favor? That's the ask formations. Why am I so good at that? How would it make me feel to have? When you combine the self-talk and the ask formation, and you do them repeatedly, you have established a communication channel. Well, what happens now, when that channel it's been established your higher self now will start to feed a lot of information down information now starts to come in then it gets sent up to the regular mind once it gets sent up to the regular mind then the regular mind will have you perceive it process it interpret it and then take the necessary action to achieve it notice that action action is last now the next part in the creative process now is action we have action to, you got to do something to get what you want 
that's the inspired action that comes at the last part of the process but for, for listen guys for any of that stuff to take place you have to have a winning attitude you have to invest in yourself you have to build the bridge of belief in yourself you have to see you have to make this new you have to transform this new personality in uh, you have to transform a new state of being a uh, create a new personality of expectation of desires of feeling normal you have to mold yourself into the person you want to be you cannot get what you want in your life if you're gonna if you're constantly in a state of indecisiveness in a state of doubt okay it's not gonna work because let me show you something everything must come through you let that sink in every single thing must pass through you to be approved for you to experience physical reality if you have a corrupt version of yourself corrupt version means that if you're constantly doubting yourself if you're constantly believing it's not possible if you're constantly being influenced by other people's opinions if you're constantly looking for approval from other people besides yourself that's called a corrupt self a corrupt self is going to lead to a corrupt reality someone says I'm having a hard time with self-doubt and depression okay so when you have a hard time with self-doubt and depression that's a corrupt self so let me show you how you can fix a corrupt self corrupt self always the root cause of a corrupt self is a faulty map of reality a faulty personality in your subconscious mind that's the root cause of it so if you want to fix your depression or your low self-esteem you have to now go and fix the subconscious so what do the first thing you can do to fix your subconscious every single person right now that's watching this it's not rocket science there is a tool out there right now that can fix your depression that can fix your anxiety that can fix your doubt and it is called auto hypnosis it is called subliminal program I have tons of them on my channel subliminal programming is when you go on your YouTube on your internet and you look for the thing that you are facing difficulty with okay how to overcome depression how to feel subliminal to make me overcome depression subliminal to make me feel worthy and deserving subliminal to make me more money subliminal to believe in myself subliminal to have a better life subliminal to be more happy subliminal to be more healthy subliminal to talk to my higher self they are all out there all you have to do is take the one you want make sure it is a mask one because that is more powerful Mass means that you don't hear it, it's hidden in your in the in the sound, but your subconscious. And then what you do, you run that program every night while it's sleeping, either with a Bluetooth speaker or with your earphones, and you run it for at least 90 days, and I can guarantee you it will clear up your depression, it will clear up your anxiety, it will re it will rebuild a new person. That is all you have to do, and it's 90% of the time it is free. That's it. That's really it. There is no reason anyone that's watching this, a part of your, it's a part of your life that every night you will have to be updating yourself. But that means a subliminal have to be playing every night while you're sleeping, man. Not twice a week, not every other day, not when I feel like it. I mean, this is look this is if you want to take your life to the next level now if you don't want to take your life to the next level then you have a free choice to do that 
but I'm, someone asked me the question about that. So, okay. So let's say you're doing that. Okay, you're on your way now. Now things are going to look up for you. Why are things going to look up for me? Because now you're changing from a corrupt self. You're building a new map. Now what happens is the personality that these subliminals are going to create now are going to reflect in your everyday life. There's a subliminal for everything. How do I get a boyfriend? How do I get a girlfriend? It's all out there. Everything that you can think of that you want is out there. Okay, see how it works? See how that works. Thanks, Mark. How do we ignore the 3D, the news, the wars, everything? Again, remember this. Everything must come through you. So what does that mean if everything must come to you? All right, check this out. It means that you have a periscope. Look at a periscope. You see the submarines? They put it the periscope. They go like this and they're seeing something. Your two eyes are periscopes. So let me show you something. Whatever your two eyes are looking at, that's going to be processed internally and then you're going to see it externally. Whatever your, two's, whatever your two eyes aren't looking at, it's not going to come in to your awareness. It's not going to come in to your reality. So what I'm saying to you is, if you're exposing yourself to certain things, you are going to get the effect of those certain things. So if you're watching the news, if you're watching stuff about wars and stuff, stuff about oppression, stuff about the or recession, anything you're watching that stuff, it is going to be conveyed as a message to in your inner subconscious being to reflect more of that into your life. That's going to affect your emotion and now you're going to feel down and bad. Okay, that's it. If you don't want any of that stuff to affect you, you tune out from those things. You do not watch those things. You are aware they're out there, yes, but you're not tuning in. You're not watching it. You're turning it off. What you're doing is you're watching something that's going to make you feel good. That's going to make you get what you want. Someone asked me, Mark, does a Shreem Bri, Shreem Bri mantra works? Yes, that works. It's a mantra. It works. I've seen this question a lot. Stop exposing yourself to the matrix BS. That's correct. That's from Kara. That's how it works, guys. Whatever we expose ourselves to, we're going to adapt and we're going to imitate what we expose ourselves to. So I, I like to expose myself to things that are going to move me towards my goals. I expose myself to things that build my mind, that build my character, that build my consciousness. I don't expose myself to any negativity, man. I do not do that because I see the consequences of that. So, you know, it is really a simple concept, guys, that you have the authority to decide what you're going to put expose yourself to. See, so if you start to expose yourself to positive stuff, manifesting stuff, mind stuff, abundant stuff, learning more about who you are, learning subliminal stuff, creating a better version of yourself, being more happy, being more productive, just be just be in a state of your best self, healthy, whatever. Those things are out there for you to expose yourself with. And when you do when you start to expose yourself to it now, it only works when you expose yourself repeatedly. And you start to do it repeatedly now, something magically happens now. Your subconscious now starts to say, "Oh, the, oh guys, this must be our new way of thinking." Your new way of thinking becomes your new way of acting. Your new way of acting becomes your new habit. Your new habit becomes your new life. I repeat it, do not expose yourself to any negativity. Now look, sometimes we can't avoid negativity, okay? There's a difference between deliberately exposing yourself 
and then you can't help it. So how do you fix something you can't help? Like in your workplace, there's negativity. When you go to hear people talking about it. I understand, you can't help that, right? But here's what you can do. You can be in a state of negativity around people that's negative, but you can also learn to tune it out while you're in there. You know what I mean by tune it out while you're in there? So tune it out is like this. Let's say I'm around some people and they're very negative and they're talking about this and they're like, oh my God, you know, man, it's so tough right now, bro. I can't even make the money. I got to go get two, four jobs. Man, you see the stuff happening in the world. The climate's changing. My God, I'll... see, okay, I'm in that room. I hear that stuff, right? So you know what I do? Once I pick up that negativity and I hear it, I immediately tune away from it. I just say, I just, I just, okay, I hear it, but then I tune it out and I start to think of something else and I start to focus on something else. People, you do that every time. You do it right now. You could be in a room or your mom or your spouse is talking to you and then you tune them out. So don't tell me you can't do it. And then, and then, then they say, are you listening to me? Oh, oh yeah. You can tune them out. You can tune in or you can tune out. Your brain is exceptional for doing that. You can be in a negative situation and not let it affect you. We do it all the time. Tell me we don't do it. You do it right now. If you hear your mom arguing at you, how many times you hear your mom or your spouse arguing at you? And okay, okay, here it comes. And they're there, you're, you're hearing, but you're not listening. You're tuning them out. And then when you hear something they say, that trick, you tune back in and say, oh, why you gotta say that? That's something new. And then you tune them back out again. That's how it works in the in the in the world. Tune in and tune out. If you tune in and tune out, you're gonna be the best manifester in the in your life. You're gonna get all the positive stuff. So that means now I can be in it and won't be affected by it. Then I can choose not to do it. You're, listen, your path right now, I'm gonna tell you something. Your path right now, if you're watching this, your path right now is to be the best version of you. And the best version of you will only mean going towards your goals and dreams. The best version of you, you have to surround and put yourself in environments that will reflect what you want. Okay? The universe is going to make me sneeze. I was going to make me sneeze. <coughs> there it is. See, the universe made me sneeze. That means affirm correct. Okay. Now, when you tune in to what you want, you get more intuition, you get more guidance, and you get more synchronicity. So someone is asking me, I can't work, I don't see my signs or anything. When you we gotta tune in to more of what you want and less of what you want. Every single person right now, if you're watching this, you must watch this or you hear because you're lacking something and you want to change something in your life. You want to manifest something. I don't know what, you want the lottery, you want more money, you want better health, you want whatever. You're looking for something. And the secret is, if to get anything you want is to tune in to things that resonate with what you want. So let me show you what I mean by that. Number one, you have to watch programs. You have to go into your internet and you have to go into your filter and you have to put in the algorithm stuff you're looking for. You have to put only positive things in your algorithm. In your news feed, you have to show things that are going to show you positive stuff coming up. You have to get your life into a one directional world. A world of positivity, a world of optimism, a world of the etheric spiritual the world of good news the world of manifesting you have to go you have to look for people who success stories you have to put yourself into that world if you want to achieve your goals you cannot put yourself into the mainstream world you're gonna have to be one percent all your friends all your families you're gonna have they're gonna they're gonna live in a different world than you To make this stuff work, they're going to live in a different world than you.
okay? That's what I want to leave you with today. And I'll see you next time.